Okay, so we have learned time to the hour, the o'clock. We've learned our half past. Our last lesson, we talked about quarter past and quarter two. And today we're going to learn how to tell time to the five minute intervals. Our essential question is how do I use and tell time? And here's our problem of the day. Lupita has a jar of pennies, nickels, and dimes. She takes out six dimes, one nickel, and two pennies. What is the value of the coins she takes out of the jar? What will the value of the coins be if she takes out another dime? So for this one, I'm going to use the problem solving strategy of drawing a picture, because I think that'll help me. So it says that she has six dimes. She has one nickel and two pennies. Okay, so now I can add these up. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67. So she has 67 cents. What would the value of the coins be if she takes out another dime? So if we added another 10, that would give us 70 seven cents, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 76, 77. Tell what time is shown, write the time. So our hour hand is just past the eight. Our minute hand is on the three, which is quarter past eight. If we count by fives, five, 10, 15, we get eight, 15 or quarter past eight. On this one, we have the hour hand between the six and the seven. It does look like it's very close to the seven, um, and that's because it is um, almost seven o'clock, but it's not quite, so we can't say seven yet. We've gotta say six, and then if we count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. When the time is 9.15, where is the minute hand on an analog clock? So let's go ahead and get an analog clock out. And we're gonna make 9.15, so nine, oh, nine o'clock first. And then 15, five, 10, 15. So the minute hand is on the number three. How is skip counting by fives related to telling time? So we've talked about this a little bit. When we get to each number on the clock, it represents the interval of five minutes passing. And so when we count by fives or skip count by fives, it's the same thing as um, counting the numbers on the clock for the minute hand. Each one of these little guys in here is a minute. So we have 12 o'clock, 12.01, 12.02, 12.03, 12.04, 12.05. Um, but every time we move a, a number, it's five minutes. Okay, so if you can skip count by five, then that'll make telling time so much easier. So we're gonna skip count by five, starting from 40, and then we're going to draw hands on the analog clocks to represent six hours and the given number of minutes for each timer, or for each clock. So I'm gonna pull up a clock again. It's, a, oh, right in the trash can. It says to make six o'clock, okay? The first one is 640, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I'm going to draw that in. Notice my hour hand is almost to the 7 because we're getting pretty close. And my minute hand goes on the 8. Now if we count by 5s, our next one will be get a new clock. We 
we've got 640. If we count by fives, it would be 45, 50, and 55. So let's go ahead and write those in. 40, 45, 50, 55. Now we've got our first one drawn. Now I have my second one up on that clock. So our hand is still about the same. Didn't move too much. It's only been five minutes. But my minute hand is going to move from the eight to the nine. Okay, same thing. Our hand stays here, but our minute hand is gonna move one more up to the 10. And then same thing here, except for it's going to move up to the 11. So do you see how our minute hand went from the eight to the nine to the 10 to the 11? And this went from 40 minutes to 45 to 50 to 55. Jolene runs a lap every five minutes. She starts running at 9.10. If she runs five laps, at what time will Jolene finish? Draw the hands on the clock to represent the time she finishes. All right, so again, let me get my clock out here. And it says that she's going to start at 9.10, so we need to get to nine o'clock first. And then we count by fives. 5, 10. So this is what time she starts. Now we need to move five times at the five minute mark because every five minutes she runs a lap. So this would be lap one, lap two, lap three, lap four, lap five. So now if I draw my hands on my clock, I've got the short hand between the nine and the 10. And the long hand goes down here on the seven, and this time is nine. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Nine, 35 is when she finishes. All right, go ahead and open up to Math in My World, which is on page 619. And we are going to count by fives as we trace the dotted line. We will label each jump five, 10, 15, and so on. And then we'll draw the minute hand to show that time on the digital clock. So you'll need your pencil. We're going to start here at the 12. Remember this is like our double zeros o'clock, okay? And when we hop, we have to wait until we get to the one and then we can say five. Hop to the two, 10, three, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So now let's draw our hand to point, our minute hand to point to the eight. And if we look at our hour hand, it's coming from the five. So it's five, and then we land it on 40. 540, so go ahead and write 540 on your digital clock as well. Okay, so now let's go on to our guided practice. You can turn to page 620 says it takes five minutes for the minute hand to move to the next number. You can skip count by fives to tell the time. This clock shows 40 minutes after nine o'clock. Write the time another way. So we just did this with a different hour, but this is gonna show 40 and the hour is nine, so it's 9.40. So now let's fill in our guided practice on 620. Um, we're going to look at our hour hand first in this first one. It is just past the 12, so the hour is 12. And then we're gonna start at the 12 and count around the clock. Remember, we don't count five until we get to the one. Five, 10, 15, 20. So this time is 12, 20. Okay, this one is almost to the four because it is almost four o'clock, but since it's not four o'clock yet, 
it's got to be three. That's the hour that comes before. And now we can count by fives. Put your pencil on the 12 and let's count. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we read this time as 355. All right, and this one is four o'clock. And then let's count off our minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 4, 25. Tell what time is shown. Use a clock to help write the time. So we're going to draw the minute hand to show the time. We've got 10, 35. So I'm going to pull up a clock here and let's make it 10 o'clock. I'm actually going to go backwards here to get there quicker. Here's 10, and now I need to get to 35. So I'm gonna move my minute hand and count by fives until I get to 35. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So when I get to 10, 35, my minute hand is on the seven. Explain how you skip count by fives to tell time. So each of the big numbers on an analog clock represents a five minute interval. And every time you touch one of those numbers, you can count by fives to find out how many minutes past the hour it has been. So now you're gonna go and practice some of this on page 621 and 622. 